Okay, joining us now for more on this remarkable achievement is a man who's been there and done that, Michael Ferreira, a former world champion himself. Mr. Ferreira, this is a red-letter day for the sport in India. He is the only second Indian to win the professional title. Yes, that's right. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a great achievement and uh, like I've said before, uh, bearding the lion in his own den is very, very difficult. You know what they say about the Indian cricket team? They're very difficult to beat in India. Similarly, Russell uh, once said that, you know, it's, it's going to be very difficult for anyone to beat him in England. And this is exactly what Pankaj has done. He's gone out there and uh, with great self-belief, uh, he had a tough semi-final battle and he went on to beat Russell, who is one of the great players that the game has produced. Fantastic performance by Pankaj. Right, sir. Uh, you were national coach in 2003 when Pankaj uh, made that uh, fabulous breakthrough winning the world snooker title. This has been a remarkable journey for this 24-year-old, isn't it? You see, I think it's a tribute to his own personal qualities. At the end of the day, uh, a man's own character shines through. You may have the talent, you may have a coach. At the, at the, the ultimate analysis, it's not the coach who goes out there and plays. It's the guy himself. It is he who has to uh, combat the demons in his own mind. It is he who has to overcome the fears and anxieties of the moment. So his qualities of head and heart have stood him in great stead. And uh, like I've said uh, in, in other interviews, his mental strength, his fierce self-belief are what set him apart. These are the qualities that used to set Keith, Keith apart and perhaps in my own case what set me apart. It is these qualities that make a person great. And in Pankaj, I'm glad to say, not only has, does he have those qualities, but he has the um, very likable uh, other quality of being grounded. He's not carried away by his success. He's very, very focused and very self-contained and very, um, yes, very aware of the fact that life could change any time. Very much like Abhinav Bindra. You know, not so full of himself as he is entitled to be. He realizes right. what life is all about. And that is remarkable in a 24-year-old. Mr. Pereira, Wilson Jones, Hugh, Geet Sethi, Shandelia, Pankaj, how do we manage to produce so many world champions in billiards and snooker, sir? I think uh, it, is, it is the pride of performance more than anything else. At the end of the day, uh, the, so, the money factor is not that great, okay? Uh, it, is, it is doing what we love. <laughs> when I say we, it is the community, the billiards and snooker community. We are doing what we love. We are not doing it for the money. We are doing it because we love it, first and foremost. Secondly, it is the joy and the honor of representing the country. Uh, and as long as any player of any sport has, the, has these things uppermost in his mind, the results will just flow. If you go only for the money, which in, in our case is, doesn't really make sense, then nothing is going to happen. But if you go for sheer pride of performance, that grim determination to, to impress your own personality on your opponent, you're going to win. And that's what Pankaj has in great quantity. Mr. Ferrer, a final word from you. Great champions are those who stand the test of time. You've known Geet Sethi for has been around for an amazing 33 years now on the circuit. Do you still see Pankaj Advani going strong after, say, 20 years from now? Yes, I do in fact see that because, um, like I say, the key is whether he is enjoying doing what he's doing. When you stop enjoying doing what you're doing, then you're finished. But as long as you retain that freshness, that youth, that eagerness to get onto the table, you will continue to dominate until age sets in and your eyes start playing tricks. Now, mid 40s, shall we say, is when your eyes start going. And when that happens, you lose that slight edge of hand-eye coordination and that split second where you have to accommodate from the tip of your cue to the, the object ball and back, you lose it. And in that uh, effort to accommodate that, that difference, you miss the stroke. And that's what causes you to lose. So your performances go down and it's like a downward spiral. Whatever, when your confidence goes down, you become beatable and that's when you have to arrest yourself either by correcting your vision through contact lenses or laser or whatever and restoring it or saying the hell with it, I've had enough, I don't want this humiliation of losing to people I could have beaten with my left hand, uh, I'm giving it up. Or the third alternative or the third course of action is 
I love what I'm doing. I don't care if I get beaten. I'm going to carry on. So, to answer your question, 20 years I think is a stroll in the park. I think he loves what he's doing. So, 20 years is not an option. He'll be 44. No big deal. And we can see many, many more world titles coming his way. Oh, he's already achieved so much at such a young age. If we wait for 20 years, I wonder what Pankaj Advani is going to achieve in this sport. But uh, Mr. Ferrara, thank you very much for joining us.